Hello Croco people, so in this video I will show you how to make this RHK filter. You choose a car make and then it will filter out the models you desire. If you want to make forms like this, you can click on link in description, which will help me make more videos like this. So first thing you need to do is hover on Jet Engine, select Taxonomies, click on Add New, now you name it, I name it Car Make, Post Type, select Post Type you desire to use, so you can use Pages or whatever we want. Now go to advanced settings and select is hierarchical. Click on add taxonomy. So we choose just pages, which is over here. Click on car make, we create it. Now we create a parent, which means you choose known. You call it Volkswagen, add new category. Then we create a polo. And we choose here a parent category, which is Volkswagen. Now we make uh, more models, golf. It's automatically selected, so now we create another parent called, for example, Audi. Now we have to choose known, which means it's a parent. And now we choose Audi and add some models. So it's easy as it is. You can also make another subcategory. For example, it's petrol car and you choose parent category for example a6 a new category now you can add diesel it's also for a6 and now you can choose another sub sub category which is for example 2.9 engine and you choose for example, diesel. And you see it's sub 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 category. You will get used to it soon. So if you have done this, we can jump on a form. So click on Jet Form Builder, add new. Choose a title, uh, let's name it car brand, uh, click on publish to save it, now go over here on the right side you will see a black plus sign, click add block, now search for hierarchical select, Click on it. Now edit levels. Uh, let it be this name or you can change it. It depends on you. Uh, let's add a new level. Uh, this level is a parent, which is Audi Volkswagen. And here are charts. It's level two. It's a subcategory. Click on update. 
Now choose a taxonomy type. We choose CarMake. And term value is term ID. Click on update. So now go back to WordPress. Go to Team Builder or just create a new page. I think it's easy to create a new page just uh, to test it out. Name it, for example, blank. It's just for testing. Publish it. Now we edit this page with Elementor. Search for a form, a jet form, drag and drop. And now choose a which form. It's a car brand. Now click on update. Now let's see if it works. Click on preview changes. We have Volkswagen by default and it's blank as you can see. You have to choose a model. Now this one works and if you click back to Volkswagen it works also. So we can work on this mess now. So let's check it again. We have Volkswagen by default and we have nothing here. And user may be confused, so let's solve this problem for him. Go back to WordPress, Jetform Builder, Forms, Car Brand, Edit. Click on blank space whenever we want. Uh, now edit levels. Edit this one, the parent. Uh, this is just a heading, so call it uh, car make placeholder. Uh, this is what will user see by default. We call it choose uh, car make or whatever we want. Uh, let's edit another level, which is car model. And we call it choose model, update it. Let's preview. And it doesn't work, so we forgot to update it. Let's try again. And now user see this one and this one. But I think it's not necessary over here. It's ugly in my opinion, so I will delete it. And I will delete just a uh, dead placeholder. Update it. Um, update again. I'm not sure if I did this. And I think it's a lot better. Because user is not stupid at all. So when we edit levels. Uh, level 1, uh, here is a label, car make, and the placeholder, choose a car make. Label is over here and over here, and placeholder is over here, and we have just one placeholder. If you like the video, give it a like, or subscribe to see more content like this.